evening folks um just uh, thought i'd do a quick update because i'm um painting some uh looks of our cavalry and i'm just waiting for the ink wash to dry um, so i've been painting them so i thought i'd do a quick update um so i've not been up to much but um the past couple of weeks like everybody kind of get waylaid with stuff but I've been painting up some American War Independent civilians um, this is just to add to the table that I'm putting on for carnage some civilians so I've been painting up quite a few this week so it's, at least it's something done Quite nice figures for the Perrys, but as usual, you've got a bit of flash and a wee bit of work to do with them. They've come out alright. Um, quite like, probably a lot of guy, people have seen these. Quite like the guy with the barrel. And, um, yeah, quite nice. These are drag rope men, so they'll go. I've got a couple of artillery pieces getting um, pulled by horses, so they'll go with them. One of my favourites is the two wee kids, one marching along, pretending he's in the army. It's just quite good. Quite like. Um, I kind of did an overall skin on them and then did a wash it came out okay I don't know if I'd do that again but it was quite good um, and then the guy waving on the on his fellow countrymen now I wonder if that's British or is it cheering on the rebels <laughs> um yeah, so I've been doing that. Uh, also getting on with some um, Napoleonics, but I'm still in the process of finishing them off. So I think I'm done. And then I purchased this today. It just came in the day. If you can see that, it's the Africa Corps Starter Army. So I'm going to open this up and see what's in it. It came in the day. Um, I would say it's um, if you can get it from a discount, um, it's probably value for money. But um, I don't know. Seventy-five quid for Warlord. Um, if it's value for money in that respect, um, possibly. I kind of priced it out with Perry's, and it was. Probably roughly the same. So you get some shiny. That's a you get Panzer Mark III. Um, damage markers. Um, this is the eighty-eight crew. If you see that. Um, hmm. Laura's been parking on this stuff. You get a, a, a medium machine gun. Looks like an MG34 to me. And you've got the mortar. Crude metal. If you can see that. Medium mortar. There's the dreaded eighty-eight. What comes with that? Um, what else you get? A pile of sprues. Sprues, some nice, lovely heads. We've 
goggles and stuff, or you can get them with a tropical helmet, some nice kit, nice wee mortar there, sprues, they look quite nice, we'll see how they go together, so you get, and you get one, two, three, four, five, six of these sprues, A ton of bases. Don't know if I use them. Uh, what else do you get? Uh, <laughs> cards if you use bolt action. Uh, oh, you get different options. And I think I'll just go for the uh, Aus J. I think for me. Um, and Dresden 88. That looks like a nice model, actually. I look forward to paint that when I get rid of it. This is quite good. Um, you get a crap load of transfers. A wee bunker there that everybody thought was a year for 188. I've seen that on Facebook. <laughs> bunker marker. Just trying to bunker marker with an 88 high X. I like these mining ones. I think I kind of will be putting the Africa core bands on my minis. I like these. They're handy for tankos. And you get more of these. So that's nice. And what else you get? The instructions how to put through. The oh god, there's a lot of bits. There's more bits than what I thought. Hmm. That's going to be fun putting that together. Some more bases and oh, the flat eight to eight assembly and painting guide. Oh, the base is falling over here. It's just got all the markings and stuff. We have to put them how to build it up. That's nice. How to put it through. Panzer Ace canvas. There you go, that's pretty good. Eh? That's pretty neat. Uh, Collar tabs and rank bands, camping scuffs and the mind for your ones. It's very good. So, quite nice to be handy guide how to put it through together. Hard load of bases, and that's it. That looks like it's going to be fun putting that together. Hey, very good. So, that's it, guys. Um, not really been up to much else. Um, just contemplating all the stuff that I've, I've been buying over the past year and due to lockdown, I've just went a bit mad. But, well, I thought. I've got the Italian, so I thought I'm going to get in, get the Africa core as well. Oh, it's quite good actually. Yeah. So, yeah, so I just thought, why not? So, I've got that. So I picked it up for um, 65 quid, that was. Um, from, I think it was War Games Emporium I picked it up from. So, yeah. So oh, if you were thinking about getting an Africa, I know it's been out for a while, but it's not a bad set. So that is that. Um, up next, as I say, is these cavalry chaps. I've got them to do. I've got some American War Independence to get on with. And um, that's about it. Uh, get Stash's box away. Mere figures to add to the pile. Everyone pile. Um, I might, I might, at some point, put on um, a video. I've got a game tomorrow night. Um, my friends come around, and I um, was going to do a bit of Merrick War Independence. Although I doubt if these cheeky chappies here. If I just take the camera up, will be 
involved. We'll see. We'll see what happens with this lot. Or whether I use them or not. Anyway, that's all for now, guys. Um, take care, and I'll see you soon.